Influencers I genuinely thought were older than me. In third, we got Jordan the Stallion. Again. Thought he was also a younger millennial in his, like, early 30s. He is the same age as me. I don't think people understand just how interesting it is looking old in your 20s. Come here. Ever since I was 18, I had to convince everybody that I was not in my mid to late 40s. Does that make sense? Right. One time, somebody who worked for Just For Men contacted me. And he was like, hey, we really want to work with you. And I was like, oh, that's that's awesome, right? Now, Just For Men is a company where you can color your hair once you start turning gray. Like once you start getting older and your hair is turning gray, you can dye your hair, you know, back to a regular color. So they contacted me because they're like, we want to work with you because it is so awesome just to, for people to know that you can be confident in making videos, especially in your 40s. And I said, I'm in my 20s. And they responded saying, oh, that's great. You tell jokes too. That's awesome. I'm like, that's, a, that's not a joke. I am, I am 26. And they said, yikes. Then they said, well, what do you do to keep your hair not from turning gray? Because you look stressed. Come here. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to say anymore. But I do, in fact, eat spinach and sweet potatoes. Those do help prevent hair from turning gray, I guess. But Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. Come here. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, while Gen Z looks way older for their age. If you don't believe me, I'm Gen Z. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. Right. When I tell people, oh, I'm going to go hang out with my family, they think I'm talking about my children. I don't have kids. Right. I'm talking about my parents. I'm still the child. Does that make sense? I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. Tom Holland is older than me. That's you know what I'm saying right now. There was one time I wanted an autograph from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Right. I was standing for hours for this autograph. And when he walked up to me, I said, can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan. Right. He then took it and put, dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me. And before I can correct him, he looked at me and said, Times were way more difficult back when we were kids, am I right? And then he tapped my shoulder and left. And, uh, Dwayne is 52. I am 26. Do you, what, what I'm saying is, so Gen Z definitely looks older. I'm not going to lie to you. So it has been quite an interesting couple of days for Jordan. Uh, come here. So a few days ago, I was explaining to everybody how Gen Z is aging rapidly while millennials are looking younger for their age. And I was saying it's because of stress. The best example being, I'm Gen Z. Right. And, and people don't believe that. How, how I tell people Zendaya is older than me. My mom uh, gets mistaken as my younger sister. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson thought we were the same age. Dwayne's 52. But what I'm saying is um, after that, I didn't think much of it until a very popular page uh, called The Shade Room was like, hey, can we share your story? And I was like, sure, not, not a problem. I didn't think much of it until later I saw the title of it and it was labeled Gen Z is aging like milk. Come here. Um, it was a lot. It was a lot going on. And then after that, um, a really popular uh, news show wanted me to be on for an interview to, quote, explain what's going on with this situation. I still have yet to respond to that. There was a few other comments. So these are some of the comments that I thought were very funny when I read it. Um, I heard that I was aging like a pack of saltine crackers. Um, somebody said, Wow, they're really giving Malcolm X a hard time. I'm assuming it's because of the glasses. Uh, the third one is, make sure this guy didn't go to high school with Idris Elba. People actually did call uh, my high school because they, they really don't believe that I'm 26 years old. The reason why I look like this is because I found out the Krispy Kreme secret recipe and I've been stressed out ever since. I'm not going to lie to you. Hold in your room when you sleep. No, I like it perfect. What's perfect? About 77. Sleeping in cold rooms literally slows down the aging process. It gets so close right now. When you sleep in traditionally cold rooms, roughly around under 70 degrees or so, your body produces more melatonin, which is a natural anti-aging hormone, right? Well, I was with my dad the other day, and somebody asked if my dad was my younger brother. Get closer. My dad was happy about it. Back it up. I wasn't because my dad is 30 years older than me. So <laughs> as soon as that happened, my dad was telling everybody what the great news was. I am now sleeping in like 50 degree weather, as you can tell from the beanie. And I mean, I'm just, it's just at this point, I'm trying what I, what I can. Where do the 35 
to 40 year old people hang out. The one thing people don't understand about 35 to 40 year olds hanging out, right? <laughs> is that they don't. Come here. Once you reach the age of 35 to 40, the top three things that you do not like are loud noises, people, and traffic, okay? They do not go out with other people. They don't like going outside. What they want to do is they want to be by themselves indoors before 9 o'clock because that's the bedtime, right? Enjoying being in the homes that they are paying for. Does that make sense? The idea of leaving a house they have to make monthly payments on does not sound enticing in the slightest. Once you turn 35 to 40, you automatically gain this thing called an NT. FF, and that is no time for foolishness. Does that make sense? Right? And if you were to have a family and you're 35 to 40, you're hanging out in your car. You're hanging out in the car, hiding in the car, enjoying the heater, right? Listening to music or maybe just a radio or maybe just silence, right? Come here. I promise you this. Ask a 35 to 40 year old if they want to hang out outside past nine o'clock. All right. They're going to say no with their eyes before they say no with their mouths. There was one time I worked with a coworker who was 39 years old. He put on the bulletin board, I am normally home, I don't make any plans. That does not mean I will cover your shift. And that's basically what it's like being 35 to 40 years old. Who is home ownership for? Because the more I hear about it, the more it's not it. Home ownership is definitely not for this new generation. Come here. At this point, having a house or owning a home is more of a luxury than it is an actual expectation anymore. The idea of having a house to yourself that you own already puts you in like a different tax bracket at this point, right? Because now people aren't even working towards owning a home. They are just working in order to keep a roof over their heads of the places that they're sharing the property with roommates or parents at this point, right? The majority of the time that people are working, they have no idea what they're even working for for anymore because the payment is not even good enough to get decent groceries consistently and also pay for gas for your car. Notice how millennials don't seem to be aging quite like the generations before. Millennials age differently from the older generation and this newest generation. Does that make sense? The older generation, they look exactly like their age, right? A 50-year-old looks like a 50-year-old. A 20-year-old looks like a 20 year old, right? Millennials, they either look way too old for their age or they look way too young and there's no in between. Does that make sense? And the newest generation come here, they all just look like adults at this point. Every single person in the newest generation already look like they have a house and they're paying a mortgage. And that's because of stress, right? The older generation, they stressed a good amount. This millennial generation, we have too many things to stress about. And this newer generation, they kind of just gave up. They, they already gave up before it even started. If you were under the age of 50, you will live to 141 years old. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I don't even think that's good news. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how to react to this information, right? Because I'm in my mid-20s right now, and my body's already kind of falling apart, right? I, I feel like I'm being put together with, with duct tape and Elmer's glue, right? And the thing is, I'm already. I, people already say that I look like an old version of Drake, right? I'm 10 years younger than him. Get so close right now. Someone said I look like Drake if instead of signing with OVO, I signed with AARP. Do you want, The creativity at this point, I don't know if I want to deal with that for another 125 years.